So the CT200UEX did 62 plus miles per hour with the Predator 212 and a 265 cam with a flat slide carb. It did 62 miles per hour with a 120 jet on a flat slide. So this time around, I'm gonna compare the 265 cam to this DinoCam's CL2 cam to see what the difference is because um, the CL2 cam is a really low lift cam and really inexpensive too. So I think it's only like 30 bucks. So I'm gonna switch out the 265 cam for the Dino Cam's CL2 cam just to see what the difference would be. All right, 265 cam. 265 cam on the left and the CL2 cam on the right. So you visually can see a little bit more lift on the 265, but man, they look kind of similar though. All right, let's drop the CL2 back in there. All right, there we go. All righty, got the marks lined up. See what it did. 
Wow. It matched the speed. It is 63 miles per hour with the CL2 cam. Same as the 265. Let me see from zero to 30. feels slower than the 265 as far as quickness goes did 0 to 30 in 6.94 let me do it again to back it up that's actually not too bad all right second attempt 0 to 30 dyno cl2 cam versus 265 6.79, 6.79. That's only like a, maybe a little over a tenth off. That's about it. This is the idle with the CL2 cam. Alrighty, so the Dyno CL2 cam versus 265. 0 to 30 and 6.79 for the CL2 cam and 6.63 for the 265. So the CL2 cam almost matched the 265 at top speed, but through the mid range, you can tell that the 265 is a little bit more snappy, a little bit more throttle responsive, but the CL2 is definitely a good budget cam. I mean, it was only like a 10th of a second off or maybe a little more from 0 to 30. But like I said, through the RPM range though, you can definitely feel the 265 is a little more snappier. But for a budget cam, the CL2 is definitely a good cam. All right, there you go. Top speed, 63 miles per hour. 6.79 on the draggy performance meter from zero to 30. 6.79.